Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from CBSE class 10, 2024-25, sample question paper for mathematics standard with subject code 041. Now this question is from arithmetic progressions chapter and this question has three sub questions. The first question is of one mark, the second question is of one mark and the third question is of two marks and it has an all question as well. That is either you can attempt the A question or the B one. So let us start with the first question now. Miss Sheila visited a store near her house and found that the glass jars are arranged one above the other in a specific pattern. On the top layer there are three jars, in the next layer there are six jars and in the third layer from the top there are nine jars and so on till the eighth layer. On the basis of the above situation, answer the following questions. The first sub question is, write an AP whose terms represent the number of jars in different layers starting from top. Also find the common difference. So let us first understand the question over here. It is mentioned that when Miss Sheila visited a store, she observed that the glass jars were arranged in a particular pattern. So let me draw the pattern here. So this is how the pattern looked. That is the topmost layer, that is the first layer. She saw that there were three glass jars arranged. In the second layer, there were six jars arranged. And the third layer I have not shown over here. But in the third layer, just below the second layer, there were nine jars arranged and so on, there were eight layers of glass jars. Now taking this data into consideration, we have to generate a sequence. So let me write here. So here we have written the number of layers. So n represents the number of layers. This is the first layer, second layer, third layer and so on. And there are eight layers. In the first layer, we had three glass jars. So here we have written three. In the second layer, we had six glass jars. In the third layer, we had nine glass jars and so on. And in the eighth layer, we have 24 glass jars. We have got here 24 because if you see the sequence here, one times three gives you three, two times three gives you six, three times three gives you nine. So we have multiplied eight with three, giving us 24 glass jars. So in the 8th layer, you can find 24 glass jars. So here we have generated a sequence of glass jars. That is 3, 6, 9 and so on till 24 jars. So let us write here. The AP or the sequence is 3, 6, 9 continuing till 24. Now we have to also find the common difference. To find the common difference, we are going to subtract the first term from the second term. Or the second term from third term and so on. So here we have written the common difference is, we have taken the second term minus the first term. So 6 minus 3 gives us 3. This is the common difference. Now let us move on to the second sub question. Is it possible to arrange 34 jars in a layer if this pattern is continued? Justify your answer. So let us refer to the sequence we have generated in part 1 of this question. Now the sequence was 3 jars, 6 jars and so on and we had stopped till 8th layer in the previous question. But here in this question it states that will there be any more layers which can support 34 jars if we continue the sequence. So for that we need to find out if there is any layer which exists that can support 34 glass jars. So for that let us make use of the nth term of an AP formula. Now the formula is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. Now a n in this case is going to be 34. a is the first term of the sequence which is 3. n is the layer we need to find out which will support 34 glass jars. And d is the common difference which we had already got it as 3 in the previous question. Now let us plug in the values in this formula. So we get, so a n has been replaced with 34 is equal to, the first term is 3 plus n minus 1 times common difference is 3. Now in the next step, we have just expanded this bracket that is 3 multiplies with n giving us 3n and 3 multiplies with negative 1 giving us negative 3. Now here 34 is equal to 3 plus 3n minus 3. The plus 3 and the minus 3 gets cancelled. So we are left with 34 is equal to 3n or taking 3 on the other side of equal to sign, we get n is equal to 34 over 3. Now this will give us a decimal value. But remember that n represents the number of layers and it cannot be your decimal value. It has to be an integer. Since n is not an integer, we can say that 
it is not possible to arrange 34 glass jars in any of the layers of this pattern. So here we have written, since n is not an integer, it is not possible to arrange 34 jars in the given pattern. Remember to write this conclusion because it has been asked to justify your answer in the question. Now let us move on to the third sub question. If there are n number of rows in a layer, then find the expression for finding the total number of jars in terms of n. Hence find S8. So if there are total n number of layers, we need to find out how many total number of jars can be arranged in the layers. So first we need to find out a general expression representing the total number of jars and then we have to find out the value of S8. Since total number of jars is mentioned, we need to make use of the sum of n terms of an AP formula which is Sn is equal to n over 2 where n represents the number of layers in this case times 2 times a a is the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference d. Now let us consider the sequence we have generated above. So the sequence was 3, 6, 9 and so on till 24 jars and the layers were till 8. Now we are going to extend the number of layers and extend it till n. So in the nth layer we will say that there are a n number of jars. Now the first term of the sequence is 3 and the common difference is also 3. So we are going to plug in the values of a and d in this given formula keeping n as it is. Since we have to generate a general expression first for the total number of jars. So we have Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2 times in place of a we have replaced 3 plus n minus 1 times the common difference is 3. Next let us simplify this equation. So we have Sn is equal to n over 2. 2 times 3 is 6 plus now expanding the bracket we have 3 times n giving us 3n and 3 multiplies with negative 1 giving us negative 3. Now again simplifying it further we have n over 2 and 6 minus 3 gives us plus 3 plus 3n. Now 3 is a common factor in this bracket so we can take it out and write it as Sn is equal to 3n over 2 and in the bracket remains 1 plus n. So this becomes a common or general expression for the total number of jars present in the layers. Now making use of this expression we are going to find out S8 as it was mentioned in the question. So we have here since we need to find out S8 here n represents 8. So we are going to plug in the value of n equal to 8 in this expression. So we have S8 is equal to 3 times 8 divided by 2 times 1 plus 8. Now 2 divides 8 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 4 times is 8. So here 3 multiplies with 4 we get it as 12 and 1 plus 8 is 9. So 12 times 9 gives us a value of 108. So there are total of 108 glass jars in 8 layers. Now let us move on to the OR question. The shopkeeper added 3 jars in each layer. How many jars are there in the 5th layer from the top? So let us consider the original sequence we had generated for this question. So this was the original sequence where in the first layer there were 3 glass jars. In the second layer there were 6 glass jars. In the third layer there were 9 glass jars and so on. Now in the new sequence the shopkeeper started adding 3 jars in each layer. So in the first layer there were 3 glass jars so he added 3 more. In the second layer he added 3 more. In the third layer he added 3 more glass jars. So the new sequence is going to be 3 plus 3 that is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12 and so on. So here we need to find out how many jars are there in the fifth layer. So in the first layer there are 6, in the second layer there are 9, in the third layer there are 12. So in the fifth layer how many glass jars are present? Now this is very easy to find because you need to add 3 more jars for the next sequence. But since this is for 2 marks make sure that you are using a formula to get the total number of jars in the fifth layer. So let us write here. Using the nth term of an AP formula that is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. We have the first term of the new sequence as 6. The common difference that is 9 minus 6 is 3. And n is given in the question as 5 that is the fifth layer. So plugging in the values of all these 3 we get a5 is equal to 6 plus 5 minus 1 times 3. Now simplifying this we get 6 plus 
Now 5 minus 1 is 4 times 3. So here we have the next step as 6 plus 4 times 3 is 12 which will give us 18 jars. So in the fifth layer there are total number of 18 jars. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then you can click on these playlists where you will find more examples of these kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.